Let's start with my favourite thing to do in any new place, having a walk around to take in the atmosphere. Tromsø is surrounded by stunning scenery, and I like the varied architecture in the city itself. It's a city with a good vibe, and it always felt safe to me as a solo traveller. Cafes are plenty in Tromsø, so you'll never be far from one that takes your fancy. All the food that I had during my stay was great. Not the cheapest, but you know that before you travel to Norway, so it's not a surprise. It feels like there are actually locals here too, rather than everywhere just being a tourist trap. Let's go to our first museum, Polaria, which is principally an aquarium. The main highlight is the seal pool, and there are several feeding sessions a day. I'm not always a fan of animals being in captivity, but these did appear to be well cared for, and the building is currently being extended to create a much larger seal pool with an external area as well. a bit sceptical about this museum, but it's not just for kids. In fact, I don't think I saw any kids at all when I visited. It's a mix of exhibits and some of these are enhanced by augmented reality. The written information is easy and interesting to read, not always the case in museums. I wouldn't allocate a huge amount of time to it, but it was fun and something a bit different. Lots of boat trips on offer, including whale watching, fishing, northern lights cruises and even an electric catamaran. I took a one hour history and photo cruise on the 107 year old Hermes 2. There was a good balance of information giving and free time to explore this beautiful craft and you get a very different perspective of the city and the surrounding area from the water.
If you're interested in history, allow some time for the Polar Museum, which has lots of information and artefacts from the various polar expeditions. There is a lot of focus on hunting, so it wasn't necessarily my cup of tea, but the stuffed animals were cute. I did know about that focus before I went, so I just chose to look at the animals more than the photos showing what happened to them. The Arctic Cathedral is probably the most iconic building in Tromsø, and definitely worth a visit, even if it's only to admire the architecture externally. If you do go inside, as soon as it opens, they do give a very short talk, which was surprisingly interesting. I was surprised that it happened, but I was surprised that I found it so fascinating. In the basement, you'll also find some photos which show how the cathedral was constructed. I thought that was actually pretty interesting as well. I expected that the magic ice bar would be naff and overcrowded with tourists, but I was intrigued to try it anyway. And I found I actually enjoyed it. It was nice and empty when I visited so I could look at the ice sculptures at my own pace and had my pick of seats to enjoy my welcome drink. If I went back, I'd probably choose the slightly more expensive package which included a second drink as this seemed like it would be better value and the drinks menu looked pretty inviting. cable car ticket isn't cheap, but it is worth every penny for the spectacular views and you can actually spend a lot of time at the top. There's a viewing platform and a cafe restaurant, which is surprisingly well priced, albeit busy, and plenty of easy walks which don't need any special kit or expertise. I bought a two-day pass and visited three times. The cable car runs until midnight and it's a great spot to see the northern lights without leaving the city.
this was probably my favourite museum. It feels laid back and nicely set out, with interesting exhibitions that are a good size, enough to engage you, but not so much that it overwhelms you. There's natural history, geology, science, human history and culture here, in individual rooms which never felt crowded. I even found Sandy on display here, alongside her wolf cousin. The cafe is also worth a mention, a really chilled place to lounge. You help yourself to food and drink and then pay at reception on the way out. Over the road from the Tromsø Museum is this absolute gem. The views are phenomenal. It's unlikely you'll miss Tromsø Cathedral, as it's in the centre of the city and a good wayfinding landmark. It's not open very often, but you can admire it from the outside at any time of day. I hope you found this video useful, and whatever you choose to do in Tromsø, enjoy! As always, thanks for watching!